the Iron Trader. The pitch just closed here about 50 minutes ago here at 2.30. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels will be posted. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell a stock, come on to ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude, your daily chart. Now, just a quick review. Went up into 200 day, went sideways action, up into 200 day, and then blasted right above. Okay, this candle here, 77.33, very, very key support level. And you can see it held very, very nicely. Okay, uh, it got just as low as 77.59. And then we've been rallying here ever since. Now, look how nice this 8 SMA here is starting to curl up here. If you can get above that 21 day here, we would push this price not only to 84, 89, but even higher, which is always nice. But let's look at the support levels here first, okay? So what do we have here today? Your high today was 83.69 here. Currently the price is 83.49. So what we're gonna do is look at this candle right here. So you're at, um, 82.91. That's what we want to look at here. Okay, there's your support. Then we want to look to uh, yesterday's high at uh, 82.05. And then we want to look to this candle here. You're looking at 81.75 and then 81.30, which is your 21 day. And then your eight day sitting at 80.45. Now, again, if that's lost, then we just follow these candles down. Okay, you got uh, 79.61 here. You got 79.34. Uh, we have 78.14, and then your big retest here, sitting at 77.59, your 50-day sitting at 77.52, look how nice that is, and then your 200-day, 76.24, and then you have your Hondo sitting at 75.51, so you got really nice support here, your 50-day uh, now crossed above your 200-day, that's always very bullish here. Um, your eight days about ready to cross up here and your price is above all the simple moving averages. Now, when you look at your RSI here, you're sitting at 63.90. We got a ways to go yet on that. And if you look here on your MACD, you can see the green is about to cross over on the red. If it does, that gives us the same thing you have here. Very, very nice. Okay, so now let's look at the upside. So what you wanna do here, uh, even today after the futures open here at 6 p.m. and tomorrow, you want to look at today's high of 83.69, okay? That is going to be very, very uh, a key level there. Always watch this level right here at 83.53, okay? Even though it's a little bit lower, but you want to watch that 83.53 to make sure that you firmly close above that and you don't have to have any issues there, okay? So you look at today's close, it was 83.44, so you're just under that 53. Okay, then again, then what we do is we look at this candle here, 83.81, then we have 84.65, and then your big retest, 84.89, okay? Now, when you look at these price channels, that's why you always want to use these price channels here. Very easy, very clear to see. So once you hold this bottom area, then you know what your big target is. Now, I always point out these support and resistance there, there because if you're a day trader, that's what you're looking to hit, okay? So... If you're going up there and say, hey, I wanna, I'm want to, i going to trade it to this candle here. Then if it pulls back, then I'll trade to this candle here. Pulls back, I'll trade to that candle there. So if you're a day trader, that's why I always point out your support and resistance levels. That way you can shoot up there. You can take your money, buy back, take your money, buy back, take your money. Now, a long-termer is why I always point out the big targets there. Because say if you're a long-termer, or you could be in a combination of both. You buy layer and you just wait until you hit. And then we see what happens when it hits. 84, 89. If it blasts through, well, then we yeah, you can you can either add to your position and hold that price channel there. You can either add to your position or just case stay along your regular position, okay? And you can scalp it every day. So there's a lot of ways to trade. All right, let's take a look here on a uh, a weekly and a monthly. All right, weekly chart here, looking very very nice here, okay? So basically, 83.53. There was your top right there, okay, 84.89, but closed below that, okay, and then, then today's price, uh, uh, so far, it closed uh, uh, below that 83.53, okay? So, what you want to do is look at that 83.53, then you want to look at 84.89, then we want to look at the 185.74, and then your 21 SMA, 86.26. Now, monthly chart, everything looked very, very bullish here. 
The key is a close above that 21 day. If you can, then I'll have everything posted for exactly where we're going. So there's going to be no issues here. Now, on the downside, watch this 8 SMA here. 80.33 going to be very key right below it here. You got your 50 SMA, 77.98, and then 75.89. Now, again, uh, you know, this is seasonality play here till the end of September. Um, so remember, don't get too excited. Eventually, it's going to come down. So if it closes below this 75.89 here, 68.60, that's your target. See how many times it hit it? And then below that is 63.64. 64 okay so what i'm going to do post here next is a seasonality chart for you and i'm going to show you what i'm talking about all right here we have a seasonality chart now you can go to equityclock.com punch us up you have crude oil natural gas whatever you want okay so this is what you do let's just look where we are right now okay we're at the beginning of uh september here okay so you're going to have a nice rally here Usually here, because you have hurricane season, to the end of September. Then, and this time, it's where you want to short this, this uh, crude oil, all the way down, as far as you can, until you get to about the first week of December. Okay, then you want to go long. And I could have a little chop in there, but you want to go long into the end of the year. See this in January? Boom. Then you short it back down. Then you're going to have a sideways action. And then at the end of February, you buy it right there, if you're going to be a long-termer and ride it all the way into seasonality here, okay? So you got summer driving, hurricane season, the whole nine, okay? So this is a very, very easy way to get a big picture, a look of seasonality. All right, let's take a look here at the old Natty Gas. Okay, Natty Gas, your hour and your four hour chart. Now, I've been pointing out this candle here, same old story, uh, basically 2.457 uh, on this candle right here is your low. You made a lower low, but you put in the green candle red dog, and boom, off she went, okay? Now, look at this, see? Nice series of higher lows. Even though we had a, a, a little sell-off, a little sideways action today, not really much going on with the Natty Gas. However, you had a nice pop-up to 2.865. That's what we were looking for, okay? So, nice, 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 but the, the pattern is still intact, okay? So, on the downside, you want to watch that 2.74, 2.7, 2.67, and then all the way down 2.61 here. Now, you can come all the way down to this 100 a, 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 a SMA here and still have the series of higher lows, no problem. On the upside, watch the 21, 2.79 is 8, 2.79. Once you get above that, then you have a retest of 2.86. Okay, here on your four hour chart, really, really nice chart. Really worked up. See your eight day, see how it creeped up? 21 day, okay, everything is moving right on. You're still very, very bullish, still intact. All right, let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly. Okay, here we have your old weekly chart. Now, you're playing pinball between the 8 and the 21? Uh, not anymore, okay? So now you're looking for support there at 2.64, and then if it goes lower, 2.49, that is your key support here. Now, look at today's candle here. What do you see? Okay, the top of that? 2.865. What have I been pointing out? This candle right here. What do you have? 2.863. See how nice that works? That's why she went there. Now, if you can get above this, then we look here, 2.87, and then we show right there, your retest, 3.018. Okay? Now, you break out above that, where's your target? Right there, 3.15, your 200 SMA, you have right there, 2.62, and then, uh, I mean, 3.62, and then uh, 3.76 here on your uh, 200 SMA. Let me just get that clear there. We can see it better. Right there. See? 3.76. That would be your upside targets. The key is close over that price channel, sitting at 3.018. Now, downside, well, you got your 3.66. That's your 50-day, your 21-day, very, very key. And then you, right below that, 2.61, that's your 8 SMA. Right now, this chart is looking very, very good. The problem you have to look at is two things. Double top, possible, you know, intact here. So if it can blast through, then we know where it's going. If it not, then we know where it's going. Right down to here, okay? Either way. But watch that double top in play. That's why you always look to the left of the, 
of your chart there to see where it's been because that's exactly where she'll be eventually going. All right, thanks for watching. I will have more for you on Neil Krutsky and Natty Gas tomorrow before 8 o'clock.